Hello everybody, RagtagSegby here, welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we came into Route Food 218, battled some trainers, got an old fishing rod, and told this boy that his girlfriend's on the other side of the, eye of the water. Which, by the way, if you go over and see her and tell her that you told her, uh, uh, her boyfriend, she will give you stickers as well. Anyway, let's head on in and check out Candlelight. Donnie, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am? I'm the Professor Rowan's assistant Don and Dawn's father. The Professor asked me to upgrade your Pokedex, you see, so I'd chosen this spot on a hunch you would pass through. Donnie, may I have your Pokedex for a moment? Let's see, was I supposed to put it in, put in the software here? Huh? Looks like your Pokedex doesn't need upgrading. It already lets you toggle between images of male and female Pokemon. Technology sure has improved lately. Okay, I'll leave you to carry on with your project for the professor. I may ask, ask you to, to keep an eye on Team Galactic. The professor is concerned about what's happening in Jubilee City. It's probably nothing to worry over. I'll be on my way now. Jeez, I'm, I'm sure I'm thirsty. That is a reference to, I believe, Gen 1, the guards, how you have to give them drinks if you want to get through. Also, this, uh, also the assistant, if you were playing the original Diamond and Pearl Platinum, he would give you an upgrade to your Pokedex, so that way you can toggle between uh, genders, so you can see what Pokemons have gender differences. Um, in this game, they make a joke about it because your Pokedex already has that feature. I hear there's a man who's very forgetful here in Candlelive City. He even makes Pokemon forget their moves. Candlelive City, the cargo port. What's up? Your clothes look damp. Were you swimming at the beach right, right by Sanchin Town? Anyway, let's check out what uh, this town has to offer. Hello, trainer. Here's something I found. They were mixed in with a load of cargo from another country. I can't use them, so I think you should take them. We get TM48s. You know how Pokemon have their own abilities. Well, the move skill swap exchanges the user's ability with that of, of its target's Pokemon. How you use skill swap is measured of your experience as a trainer. Uh, nothing about us currently. Somewhere beyond the sea, there are other lands populated by Pokemon and trainers. That is so true. Now anyway, let's see what this shop has to offer. A Pokeball makes it easy to catch some kinds of Pokemon. Well, that's the repeat ball. Yeah, basically the repeat ball, I believe, is the ball we can buy here. Basically, uh, if there's a particular Pokemon you want to capture again, uh, for whatever reason, uh, the repeat ball is your best friend, as it has, I believe, as much of a high capture rate as a dust ball or whatever, when capturing the Pokemon of the same species that you've caught previously. So, for example, if you wanted to get, like, some more like Lufinion, Shinx, pretty much any Pokemon you can think of. The Repeat Ball is your ball to use because it will have a higher capture rate. Uh, I might get a few. They're not overly useful because again, you need to capture a Pokemon you've caught previously. Uh, but they're not bad. Not to mention this is also a good place if you want to get like Timer Balls and most importantly, Quick Balls. I might quickly stock up on a few. Uh, also grab a few ultras. Uh, nothing else that I want to get currently. Uh, you found anything yet, Trace? You're just happily following me. 
Uh, okay, this guy. His house isn't marked, but if I remember correctly... Uh, who do you say I was again? Oh, yes! I remember now! I'm the move deleter! You've come to, um, to make me for sure Pokemon forget some moves? Basically, if there's a move that you need to forget, uh, you can go to him and he can make a Pokemon forget the move. Uh, back in the day when HMs were a thing, he was the only way you could remove HMs from your Pokemon. Welcome to Candlelive, the Candle City. In the olden days, this port was used to be a hub for cargo transportation. Okay, let's heal up our Pokemon. Let's get everyone all nice and healthy. I can't use hidden move strength from my Poke from my Poke Edge until I beat the gym leader Brian. So we need to defeat him if we need to use strength. The same kind of Pokemon can sometimes have different abilities. Maybe I ought to raise two with different abilities. My Psyduck is very smart. It can use the move Future Sight. What's this odd building? The Harbor Inn. The text is too faded to read. Uh. Uh, looks like the door's locked. The door's tightly sealed shut. It appears impossible to open. Maybe there's a way we can open this door at some point. Mm, but what could we use to open it? Maybe that answer will come to us at a later date. What do you think, Trace? You all stretched out and relaxed. Now, a word of warning. Uh, do not cross this bridge if you have not fully healed your team yet because if you try to attempt to cross this bridge this will happen whoops oh hey Donnie you're gonna challenge the gym leader up ahead Ed, eh? someone should uh, check to see if you're ready for this challenge and that someone is me, with my brand new gym badge. Yep, Aunt Barry will ambush you yet again, and he will challenge you to a battle. So make sure you do not attempt to cross this bridge until you are ready. Otherwise you're gonna be in a world of hurt. Uh, so if I can get, um, his team... Here we go. So the Poke- so he's starting Pokemon. Star Ravia, level 32, he finally evolved that Starly. Uh, level 32, with the ability Intimidate, so this thing will intimidate uh, whatever physical attacker you send out. So try to use special attacks. Uh, with the moves, Quick Attack, Double Team, Endeavor, and Pluck. Uh, the Pluck will take pretty much, will pretty much eat any berry you have equipped to your Pokemon, so do not have a Pokemon holding a berry face this thing. Uh, the double team, naturally, to be very evasive against you. Uh, the quick attacks, that way he can always try to get an attack in before you do. And Endeavor, if I remember correctly, I think that either does more damage if he, if he has a status condition or if he's low on health. I forget which one it, which one it is. But, um, the, but it is holding an item, it is holding a quick claw, so it could potentially go first, despite how fast you are. Uh, oh no wait, Endeavor had a completely different move effect, I'm just looking it up right now. The attack move cuts down the target's HP to the equivalent of the user, so yeah. Uh, be careful when you're facing this uh, Starly, if you're close to KOing it, he can uh, force your Pokemon to be close to KO range as well. Uh, he's gonna bring out Roselia, so we'll bring in Hideyoshi. I knew I had to check that uh, that move because I'm like, wait, that doesn't sound right in my head. Hey, Roselia! 
Uh, level 33. If you have, um, if you have a tur tweak on you, um, he will have a level 34. Um, Roselia instead, but uh, in his um, print buff team, he has a um, level 33. Uh, grass poison with the ability natural cure, so it will heal any status condition upon switching out. Um, with the moves growth, stun spore, leaf seed, and giga drain. Um, yeah, so his uh, Roselia pretty much tries to play very defensively while stealing your HP. A with both uh, Leaf Seed and uh, Giga Drain, especially with Growth raising its special attack. Uh, it has a big root, which is one of the herbs, which I, which uh, I always forget. Uh, you can have Pokemon hold on to herbs, and they can use them. Um, oh no, wait, this isn't an herb. I thought it was an herb for some reason. No, I double checked the item. Uh, big root is actually a, a normal hold item, but but but. Blah, 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 blah. Let me try it again. Basically, it's a hold item that basically increases the effect of any move that steals HP. So, with the case that seeing that he has a Giga Drain on this uh, Roselia, that moves ability, uh, I believe both damage and how much health that Roselia will heal from is increased by 30%. So this Roselia will heal 30% more. Or than normal. Trace grew to level 43. Barry's about to send out Print Bluff. Uh, Trace has leveled up. Let's bring out... Yeah, let's have um Lola take part in the fight. Pimbluff, which I'm surprised he's sending it out this early. Uh, obviously his starter, level 37. Water type, uh, water type with the ability Torrent. So once this Pimbluff's health gets low, it water attacks will start gonna hit harder. Harder with the moves: Metal Claw, Charm, Grass Knot, and Brine. So uh, with Brine, if you're below half of your health, that's gonna hit you much harder. Uh, the Grass Knot is mainly to ca uh, if you use heavy Pokemon, then he that can potentially be a problem for you. Well, yeah, the Charm will decrease your physical attacks, and um, Metal Claw if you are uh, using like Rock types or whatever against him, which I don't know why you would send one out against the Print Bluff, but uh, its hold item is Sea Incense, which increases his Water type move. I believe it's a 30%, no, 20% increase. It is a 20% increase. So, uh, so yeah, his print plus water moves will be stronger, and that does stack on top of Torrent if that ability activates. Hideyoshi Green, level 43. Ooh, Heracross, I'm definitely, uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be sending in, uh, Hideyoshi for this. He has, I believe, yeah, a new Pokemon that wasn't on his team previously, Heracross. So Barry must have found a, 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 a rare tree, or he must have went underground. Anyway, level 32, bug fighting with the with Swarm as its ability. When its health gets below a certain uh, threshold, its bug type moves will get stronger. Uh, with the moves, Leer, Aerial Ace, Brick Break, and Feet. Uh, this, um, it is holding no item, just to point that out, because it, because Barry will try to steal whatever item you're using to use it against you. So, if you, um, have some, so don't let him steal anything that might be useful to you, if you are holding, if you have an item on the Pokemon. Uh, Brick Break, uh, it's a decent fire ty fighting type move. If you're trying to take advantage of moves like Light Screen and Reflect, it will just break right through that and uh, st and uh, end those moves. Well, Aerial Ace is an attack that will never miss, so this Heracross does have a means to always hit you. 
and leer obviously to lower its uh, your defenses so that way its physical attacks can hit harder. All right, his next, I believe, final Pokemon is Ponyta. We gotta get out of tighter spots. This is precisely something. I couldn't catch the last part of his dialogue there. It went by way too fast. Uh, his Ponyta, level 30. Uh, level 34. Uh, fire type with the ability Flash Fire. So do not hit this thing with fire type moves, otherwise it's gonna cause it will negate the fire type attack and get stronger. Um with the uh, moves Growl, Agility, Flame Wheel, and Stomp. Uh, it will mainly focus on trying to be faster than you using um, agility and flame wheel. Um if you have a Pokemon with Minimize, avoid using it because you will make it, his stomp stronger. And yeah, he'll mainly try to weaken, um, lower the stats of your physical attackers. But otherwise, this Ponyta should be no problem. It also has a Shell Bell, so this Ponyta can heal when attacking you. Lewis Green, level 43. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Yeah, yeah, you're just as better than me as usual. But listen up. Let me tell you who's going to take on the Pokemon League and become the champion. You guess right, it's gonna be me. Anyway, you should be able to take on the gym leader here. Now, uh, hurry up and get to it. And off Barry goes. So we're mainly going to be exploring the rest of Candlelive. And, oh, does he heal your Pokemon up? No, I thought he gave you like a free heal. I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, I'll just go quickly heal up at the Pokemon Center to heal up any damage if I took any damage in that fight and also recover my PP. Let's heal on up. Anyway, Canavlave Library. Let's go learn about some histories, shall we? Hello, this is the Canavlave Library. Please keep quiet while you're on the premises. See what books there is to read. Shelves lined with books. Now there are certain books that you can read here. What is it? Please don't disturb me when I'm reading. Uh, more books, more books. I forget what uh, floors they're on, but there are books you can read here. Cram with books. More books, more books. Okay, if I remember correctly, there is a book here. Okay, it's this one. Here we go. The book is titled The Sea Legend. It is a text that is only recently discovered and its ancient letters were decoded. Would you like to read it? This book was not in the original Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. This was added in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and it is pretty much confirmed at this point that it is tied to, to Pokemon Legends, and I'll mention why in just a bit. Once upon a time in the East Sea, there was a Pokemon known as the Prince. A brave human asked the Pokemon living in the sea to let them see the Prince. Would you like to keep reading? Mangtyke, Bleasel, and a Quillfish with large spikes acknowledged the human's bravery and joined them. Together, they set off in a boat over the sunset at streaked waves. Oh, uh, see, 
sailing through the ocean gate stretch over the waves. News of this reached the ears of the prince who went to meet the brave little party at the seaside hollow. So how does this book tie into legends? Well, thanks, well, thanks to uh, the uh, leak of Pokemon Legends, because Legends has been leaked at the time of this recording. Uh, and it should hopefully be out by the time uh, this recording comes out as well. Um, we know that there is a Hasuian Quillfish. So the Quillfish with large spikes is the Hasuian form. Also, I believe Seaside Hollow is a name of a location that is in um, Legends Arceus. So yeah, this book directly ties into Legend Arceus. It was um, basically like a little uh, hint to uh, one of its po to one of its uh, new Pokemon. And I think it's also supposed to be a hint to a side quest because it mentions the prince, and I wouldn't be surprised because I haven't fully looked into the leaks. Uh, I'm trying to avoid like spoilers, story, story, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, story spoilers and stuff. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a side quest. Uh, like in the game because we know there's like uh, side quest missions you can do I wouldn't be surprised if there's a side quest you can do that gets you the prince which I believe is supposed to be Manaphy and Mantike, Bleasel, and Hasuian Quillfish are supposed to be the keys to getting that Pokemon the books on the third floor are easy to read the ones down here are all too tough for me to understand Otherwise, I believe there's nothing else on these line of bookshelves. Ceiling crammed with books, crammed with books. Someone always checked out the book I want to read. Now here we can, there are some interesting books we can read. The ancient book is titled The Origin Story. Would you like to read it? In the beginning, there was only a, a cunning and turmoil of chaos. At the heart of the chaos, there were all things became one, appeared an egg. Having trembled from the, vo from the vortex, the egg gave rise to the origin one. From itself, two beings of the original one did it make. Time started to spin and space began to expand. From itself again, free living things the original one did make. The two beings wished, for, and from them, matter to come came to be. The free living things wished, and from them, spirit came to be. The world created, the original one took the unwell, an unwielding sleep. A horrific myth. Look not into into the Pokemon's eyes. But in but in an instant, you will have no recollection of who you are. Return home, but how? When there's nothing to remember. Dare not touch the Pokemon's body. But in three short days, all motion will drain away. Above of uh, above all, above all, harm not the Pokemon. In a scant ant seven days, the offender will grow immobile in eternity. Sinnoh Folklore Stories Let's read the first one. Pick clean the bones of the Pokemon caught in the sea stream. Thanks to them for the meals they provide and pick their bones clean. When the bones are, are clean as they can be, set them free in the water from which they came. The Pokemon will return fully refresh and began anew. I think that a folklore story is supposed to be a hint to, um, to Basta Legion? Because that makes the most sense, given that you're killing a, given that Basta Legion is supposed to be like the evolution of um, Bastion that died. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was the uh, inspiration for that Pokemon. Sinnoh Folklore Story 2. There lived a Pokemon in a forest. In the forest, the Pokemon shed its hide to sleep as a human. Awakened, the human donned the Pokemon's hide to roam villages. 
Now this uh, story, if I remember correctly, has a continuation in free. There were, oh, maybe not. There were once were Pokemon that become very close to humans. There were once were Pokemon, humans and Pokemon that ate together at the same table. It was a time when the two who existed, no differences to extinguish the two. I believe uh, Folklore Story 2 is supposed to be, a, is, I think, what they maybe base Hasui and, um, Sorok on? Sinnoh Myth. Betray not your anger, I last something will come. Weep not your sor with sorrow, or something will draw near. When joy and entertainment, enjoyment, comes as natural as the very air, that is happiness. Let it be blessed by the hand of Master Something. It is a custom to speak the, those words. Sinorajian Mythology Long ago, uh, when Sinnoh had just been made, Pokemon and humans led separate lives. This is not to say they did not help each other, no, indeed they did. They supplied each other with goods and supported each other. A Pokemon proposed to the others to always be ready to help humans. It is asked that Pokemon be ready to appear before humans always. Just us to this day, Pokemon appear to us if if we venture into the tall grass. Another Sinnoh myth. Three Pokemon there were. Into the lakes they dove, deep, deep, drawing no breath. Deeper and deeper they dove, into suffocating depths they dove. Deeper than the deepest they are all right. From the lake floor they rise. Bearing with them the power to make vast lands, they will rise again. Veilstone Myth A young man, and childhood and foolish in innocence, came, come to a, come, came to his own sword. With it, he stole Pokemon, on oh, which gave sustenance with carefree uh, uh, abandonment. Those not taken as food, he discarded with no afterthought. The following year, no Pokemon appeared. The leaders grew bare. The young man seeking the missing Pokemon journeyed afar. Long did he search him far and wide until one he did find. He asked, why do you hide? To which the Pokemon replied, if you bear your sword to harm arm upon us, with claws and fangs, we will extract a toll. From your kind, we will take our toll, for it must be done. Done it must be to guard ourselves for it. I apologize. To the skies, the young men shouted in disarray. In having found the sword, I have lost so much. Gouge with power, I grew blind to the Pokemon being alive. I will never fall savage again. This sword I denounce and forsake. I plead for forgiveness, for I was but a fool. So saying, the young man hurled the sword to the ground, snapping it. Seeing this, the Pokemon disappeared to a place beyond seeing. Those are some interesting myths right there. Uh, I swear there was supposed to be more to uh, one of the uh, storybooks. But um, I'll, ch I'll check on that at a later date. Yeah, that is the library. Which also ate up a good chunk of our time. So let's finish uh, looking around the city. I'm going to study at the library. Aren't books just love lovely? I have... I love how reading takes me to places far away in time and space. The gym leader and trainers of this gym often go out to Iron Island. They not only train their Pokemon there, but at work out as well. Hmm. We might want to check out this Iron Island before we go oh, deal with the gym. Hello, I'm with Jubilife TV. May I hit you up for a quick interview? 
Thank you very much. Let's not waste any time. Please select your favorite Pokemon type from the list. Uh, one of my favorite types is the electric, so let's pick that. We'll be featuring this interview in an upcoming TV program. Please tune in and see how you look on TV. My brilliant instincts tells me there's, there's a secret path somewhere in the city. And there is treasure beyond that path. I'm gonna be a sailor like my daddy. He's a real man among men. Even the sea don't, don't scare him. Oh, but a gym leader be cool too. Brian is so awesome. Our boy has too much energy. I wish ish he would be a little quieter. You might want to be careful what you wish for, lady. As I happen to have a wish Pokemon on me. Anyway. If you come down here, because you can uh, surf on this body of water. First off, you can see that the la th this water just ends, so I don't know how boats are supposed to get in and out. But if you come here, hidden behind this tree is the item uh, TM989, U-Turn. So let's quickly speak to that guy that was looking for treasure before we end off. Whoa, there was actually something there? I mean, my instincts are, are about my brilliant instinct being correct turned out to be -e correct. These are my thank you gift. And you get some stickers off him for finding the, uh, the TM. So in the next episode, I think we'll speak to the sailor and head off to Iron Island. Go check that place out. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, do like the video, it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode. And also share the video so that way more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. I greatly appreciate your guys' support. And I will see you next time. Later.